Hey everyone, we're making a series of videos available to you to learn Amazon EC2 with 10 labs and 20 facts and refreshers for your exam. The full course is available on YouTube. It's also available on Udemy. You can check the links in the description below to view the Udemy link. This course is produced by Cloud Yeti. We make simplified cloud computing, AWS, and DevOps videos. You can contact us by emailing us, checking out our GitHub, visiting our website, or following us on LinkedIn. I'll be the presenter for this course. My name is Saurav Sharma. I am seven times AWS certified. You can support us by helping us reach 5,000 subscribers. We're currently around 3,300 and reaching 5,000 is very important to us. So if you want to support us, start by subscribing to us. And you can also watch our other content, uh, buy our courses on Udemy, etc. We're adding a lot more content, so we're open to feedback, suggestions, and requests from you guys because we're making these videos for you guys. All right, now let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is lab number seven. The title of this lab is EC2 SSH Authentication with Username and Password. Let's go to the course repo on GitHub. So the steps for this lab are first of all, to launch and log into your EC2 instance. So once again, let's go to the EC2 management console, click launch instance and launch a simple instance with the Amazon Linux AMI. T2 Micro, next. Everything here can stay the same. Storage in the name tag, I will add this as password auth test or something. Next. Now in the security group, you would want uh, an instance with port 22 open at least. So you can you know create one or choose one that has port 22 open and review and launch. Select the right key pair and launch your instance. At this point, I'll click on the instance ID here and I'll give this a minute or so before I can click on connect. All right, so looks like the instance is ready. I'm gonna click on connect, copy the connection string, go to my terminal and paste that connection string. Make sure you're in the folder with the key and enter, type in yes, and I'm logged in to the EC2 instance. So once I'm logged into the EC2 instance, we need to do a few things for us to be able to log into this without this key, without this key and with a password instead. So the first thing that we need to do is create a password for the EC2 user. So for that, I'm gonna type in a command, which you can find by going to the lab file. So this is the first command, sudo pass wd ec2 user, sudo pass wd ec2 dash user, which means with the root permissions, you know, change the password for ec2 user, enter, I'm gonna choose a password um, you know, I chose a bad password, but I can still go on. It's just giving me a warning. Uh, but I did set a new password. Now, we need to enable password authentication. So the next step is to update the password authentication parameter in this file. And this is the config file for SSH uh, daemon. You know, this is what lets you authenticate with the EC2 instance. And you can change the config here to, you know, set up password authentication and so on and so on. So I'm going to copy this file path, go back to my terminal and type in sudo for super user access, vi for the vi editor and the path of the file. So type in enter and you'll be given all this text. So we're going to scroll down until we find password authentication. So right here, password authentication is set to no. I'm gonna change this by clicking I. I'm gonna go to the insert mode and remove this, type in yes. After this,
click escape colon wq exclamation so this is the command to quit the document enter and the configuration is changed now we still need to do one more thing we need to restart the SSH D service and I'm gonna copy this command to restart the sshd sshd daemon enter and you know stopping and starting right okay okay um, looks good and if you're on uh, ubuntu you know you can use a command like this you know we're good with this command so let's move on and number five our next command will be exit out of the ec2 session and then log in to test the password authentication so i'm going to type in my EC2 instance, exit to come out of the EC2 instance. And instead of using the PEM file, the key to log into my EC2 instance, this time I'm going to remove the key file name. Right, so just type in SSH and username at the DNS name of the EC2 instance, enter. And it's gonna ask me for the password which I set earlier and I, type the password in and I'm inside the EC2 instance without using the key pair. So this is how you set up a password authentication uh, on your EC2 instances. So I'm in my EC2 instance and if I type in history, you know, then I can see that I entered a few commands in here, right? sudo password, uh, so I changed the password for the EC2 user, I changed the configs and I restarted the agent you know, three commands that were used to set up the password authentication for the EC2 user. In slide number 13, we talked about how you can run commands on your EC2 during launch. So now these commands that we entered in the first part of this lab to set up the password authentication, you know, we can enter these commands during startup, right? We can automate this process so that we don't have to do this over and over again. So that we'll put a script like this in the instance user data. And to do that, let's first of all go to the course repo. So this is the course repo and in the lower part of the file, you'll see this script, right? Copy this script and let's go to the EC2 management console and we'll launch a new instance this time with Amazon Linux AMI, T2 micro instance type, now the important page is page number three or tab number three. And if you scroll down, there's advanced detail section right here. If you click on it, it will expand to give you a user data portion and a box. And in this box, you can paste the bash script that will perform some actions during EC2 startup. And this section is called user data. And this is basically how you automate things uh, during startup, right? When you can include some script that will install certain applications or, you know, do something like set up the password authentication during startup. So in this script, what happens is, first of all, just like we did earlier, this line will go to this SSHD config file and replace password authentication no with password authentication yes. We will restart the SSHD service just like we did earlier. And I've included both of these commands, you know, so that you can be safe and it will work on multiple distros. So one of them might fail, the other one will work. Now in here, you can enter the name of the user that you want. You know, you can, instead of Bob, you can have your name in here. And the password that I chose for Bob is here, but you can change the password as well. So when you choose these two things, or you can leave them as default, you know, you can copy this and a user with name of Bob and password of password123 will be created. And we can log into the EC2 instance as that user um, like this. So let's go ahead and after making sure we pasted this script in the user data section, click on next add storage, everything as default. And the tag, I'm gonna call this uh, user data uh, test and next security group. For this lab, you only need port 22 open. Uh, select the security group review and launch and launch with the right key pair name. Launch instances. 
and then you click on the instance name, bring it up, and give it a minute or so before it's ready, and we'll try logging in with the username of Bob and password of password123 without using, you know, PEM files, right? Because we set up this during startup using user data. Looks like the instance is ready to be logged into. So I'm going to copy the public IP this time, right? All I need is the public IP. Copy the public IP, go to my terminal. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to SSH with Bob as a user at this IP and type enter. All I need is this, say yes. And I'm asked for password. The password for me was password123 and I'm in. I'm in with the password that was set up during startup using EC2 user data. So you should be able to do the same thing uh, if you follow all the steps and you can go back and watch this video to see exactly how everything was set up. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to ask. But after this, we're good to move on to our next lab. So let's do some cleaning real quick. I'm gonna go to my EC2 management console, select both the EC2 instances running, actions, instance state, and terminate. Terminate, so that will clean up those instances. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lab.